at its very core, the undertaking of scientific discovery is an exercise in bringing humanity closer together. That exercise's hypothesis is that for all our differences, we are equals under the laws of nature. That there are basic truths that can be proven, and those truths affect us all in equal measure. This exercise in scientific discovery has a method, which is to take the brightest ideas from the brightest minds, regardless of background or nationality or identity, and put them to the test. And this exercise of scientific discovery has a conclusion, which is the attainment of truth and of understanding, a better sense of who we are, of what we are, of why we are, we, collectively, as a human race. In 1888, French chemist and father of the germ theory, Louis Pasteur, spoke at the opening of a Paris Institute that was created in his namesake. His words are particularly powerful today. He said, two contrary laws seem to be wrestling with one another nowadays. The one, a law of blood and death, ever imagining new means of destruction. The other, a law of peace, work and health, ever evolving new means of delivering humans from the scourges which beset them. Which of these two laws will ultimately prevail? God only knows. But science will have tried by obeying the law of humanity to extend the frontiers of life. Today, we carry that mission. These contrary laws, we see it around the world, continue to wrestle, but we place our faith in the power of discovery to inch us closer to truth and to understanding. That, among so much else, is the promise of the upgraded LCLS that in the work behind these unimaginably small attosecond pulses, the imagination, the grit, the collaboration, and the stewardship that made them all possible, that there is a chance to bring this world closer together. What a profound blessing to have a department dedicated to discovery. What an extraordinary gift to have a country full of generational scientific talent. And what a necessary moment to attend to extend the frontiers of life. Today, and always, I am proud to be your energy secretary. Congratulations on this milestone. I cannot wait to see what truths you discover next in this grand exercise that brings humanity closer together. <laughs>